Yo, my name's Alex. I'm a mixing and mastering engineer. Um, I also go by Aya, which is my artist name when I produce music. And I love Ableton, and I love Max for Live devices. And I'm hoping to start a series where I show off some of these novel um, devices that the Max for Live community is making for Ableton users, because I feel like when I go out and buy a VST for $20 that's not native to my DAW and also sucks, I get upset. And there's a lot of free devices on Max for Live that will fill that void for you for a while so you don't make the 20 or 40 or $100 mistake of buying something because you thought it was cool. So let's talk about this free Max for Live device, this Fibonacci Note Echo, which is a MIDI note delay that gets its delay times um, between each iter iteration or note um, playing from the Fibonacci number sequence, which is a very famous number sequence that is found all throughout nature. Um, essentially, you get it by summing the preceding two numbers in the series. So one plus one is two, two plus three is five. Um, and when you plot it, it looks like this, it kind of explodes out, right? I don't think it's, I think it's exponential, but not normal. I'm not great at math. But uh, so basically the creator of this plugin, Z Steinkamp, um, emulates the Fibonacci sequence by setting the delay taps to um, this formula, essentially. And this is what it sounds like. Sounds like a Windows boot up, doesn't it? Very, uh, very interesting sort of sound. And it's uh, not it's not quantized or anything like that. So let's talk about the controls. So I'll show you here if you want to pause and read exactly um, what he said about them, but I'll give you a quick rundown as well. So this time base here controls the overall um, amount of time that you'll be using to create the delay. So increase, longer, right? Um, decrease, very short. Somewhere in the middle right there. Sorry, I'm trying to turn something turn something off. There we go. Okay. Um, this time scale here is just basically an exponential version of what's happening here. So I'm running it at a tenth of the speed. So really, 250 milliseconds is actually um, 20, 25 milliseconds because this scales the control. It was at a tenth. Now I'm going to put it back to where it was. And it's the same, basically. So if I wanted to go half time, I would go 0.5. Double time. That's the time scale control. The iterations controls how many notes play. So you can go as low as one or four or five to get a longer, um, longer sort of uh, note play out. This controls what notes play. So right now, it's playing a fifth of each of the preceding notes. You can also descend. So here's what it sounds like. Sounding like garbage, but there you go. You get the idea. It's descending by fifths or sevenths, right? Okay, now here is velocity decay, which basically when I click the MIDI note, this echo over here uh, you'll watch when you see the mini note being triggered, decays and gets quieter as far as the velocity is concerned. See, the last ones are a bit quieter. You can uh, turn it around, like so, which basically means they'll get louder as you go or increase down. That's velocity decay. And then these two control the note length. So this is regular duration. Long notes, right? Duration decay is really cool. So as the decay uh, increases on the Fibonacci number sequence, each of these will get an increased overall decay as well. So take a listen. The first notes are um, have a shorter decay than the last notes, essentially. And what's really cool about devices like this is that you can capture the MIDI and do things to it after you play your singular MIDI note. So let's do that. Let's just play that okay and let's look at it in MIDI so essentially I have to move it over so you can see it that is what it looks like in MIDI and corresponding velocities as well so I like stuff like this because it gets you something that you're not necessarily going to play uh, directly into your DAW unless you're a virtuoso at Fibonacci delays and now you get to manipulate it um, in your DAW. So this is the Fibonacci Note Echo by Z Steinkamp. There's a link right at the top of this video for it. And 
thank you um, to Z Steinkamp for making it and everybody else in the Max for Life community for being so cool. Goodbye. <laughs>